Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to be making Thor's hammer. This is a part one to my tutorial series on how to make Thor's hammer. Um, Thor Love and Thunder just came out in theaters, so I wanted to make something kind of based on that, I guess. So let's get started. So first, all I have is this cube. I'm going to go to side view up here and I'm going to add image reference and this is just going to add a reference image into our viewport so we can kind of model after that. This is going to be on my desktop, it's just a screenshot that I took of Thor's hammer. So here it is. This is a front view. I'm also going to go to the side view and add in another one. And this is going to be a picture of Thor's hammer on the side. So now we have these images in, so now we can reference them when we are doing the modeling. But they are not lined up, so we're going to have to mess around with this. So the top lines up at the top here and the bottom here. So I'm just going to start eh, gonna start by scaling it up. So S to scale it up. I'm just going to line up the top here first. It looks like it's a little bit big. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. There we go, that looks pretty nice. Now I'm going to select this cube and pressing tab or going up here and going into edit mode. You now are in edit mode. So now the first thing I'm going to do is just press G. Oh wait, sorry. Skip the step. Um, These have to be in the center, these images. So if you look down here. You can see here, if I draw on here, this goes down and it's in the center. This like bevel thing for the handle is in the center. So we are going to move that into the center by just selecting our image and moving the middle just in a little bit. You can just eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it's a little bit helpful when you're modeling. Okay, now it can go back into edit mode. So now we have to make this cube look like Thor's hammer. So what we're going to start out by doing is moving it up. So grab your move tool or press G, Z to move it up on the Z, just like that. And then you can take on side view you can see that we have to line up everything so it matches the dimensions of our hammer. So I'm going to go S to scale it in so it matches up at the edges. You might have to press G and Y to align it. Just moving it to align. S to scale it up. G, Y. I'm not on side view. G, Y. Okay, so now we've got those sides aligned, and we're going to align the top now. So, since we're in wireframe, when you box select, it selects the vertices behind them, which is great. And I'm just going to move this on the Z, all the way up to the top. And then do the same thing with the bottom. G, Z. Move it up. Okay. So now our hammer pretty much matches the dimensions. What we have to do next is align it to this line here on both of the sides. So we're going to box select in wireframe. By the way, I'm going into wireframe up here. I'm going to move by pressing G X to move it on the X all the way to where that line ends. 
I'm gonna do this on both sides. G, X, move it to the end. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is, it's kind of beveled, if you can see that. It's beveled on the sides. So there's a pretty simple way of doing this. You can just grab your loop cut tool and take it, well, side view. And if you just click and hold down, you can now drag it to where you want your, um, sorry, your loop cut to be located. I want it right where this corner bevel starts. And then what I can do is go back to my move tool, move to wireframe, select these bottom vertices, and go S, Y, not Z, Y, sorry. And then move them in. And now that'll kind of bevel the bottom. We're gonna have to do the same thing in a second with the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So loop cut, hold it down, drag it up to where you want your um, bevel to start. And then go back to move tool, select the top vertices, go S, Y to scale in. Perfect. Now if we zoom out, you can kind of see that the hammer has started on this bevel look which looks great now what I'm going to do is zoom in here oops, and start on the work of this hammer part here so I'm going to take on face select these vertices here And then you can also do the same thing on the other side. So just take the side vertices and you can go to side view and zoom in here. And you're going to press I, which indents it. And we're going to press I, so I, and just drag it in until you get to this kind of line area here where it splits off because it kind of gets indented and then it goes out for the hammer and then what I'm going to do so I'm just going to press I again and then it doesn't really matter where you put this I but I can scale it on the X by pressing S X and just bring it out to about there So now if we zoom in here, this side is aligned because I was looking at this side, but this side oopsies, over here is not. So I'm going to select these and then just bring them in. Okay. I was a little off on this side, so I'm just going to pop it back. Okay. Now I can go to side view again and scale it and kind of align this to this. So if we zoom in here, you can press S to start just to align these edges with the edges. And then we can go to the uh, select mode with the edge select. And just select this edge and bring it down pressing S, Y and then select this one and move it down about there. Do the same for the top. Scaling it on the Y. Okay. So now this side has a correct shape for the hammer, but this side you still need to work on. So you're going to do the same thing this side. So here we go, zoom in, I'm going to select these edges, bring them in, I forgot I scaled this part, so here we go, 
just gonna go to the box and do face select and box select those. And now I can scale them down. S until the edges aligned here. And then I can take this face here and move it down. And this face here and move it up. And then I'm going to go to edge select and select these. And move them down and select this. Move it down. Oops. There we go. This Y. Okay. So now if we zoom out here, we have the base of our hammer, which is looking great. Um, there's a little bit more we have to do to this because it doesn't really look like Thor's hammer yet. Um, so let's get that done before we end the part one of this tutorial. So pressing tab, you can now zoom in here and you can add in a cylinder here for the top. So I'm going to go add cylinder, then G, Z to move it just up, and then this is a way too big cylinder, so we're going to have to scale that down, oopsies, S to scale it down, G, Z, just move it up, and then a wireframe so we can see it a little bit better, S. And it looks like my image is still not centered, so you can just move it manually until it fits and matches that top piece there. So you can kind of see that it's starting to match that, but it's a little bit beveled too, so I'm going to have to do that. So how I'm going to do this bevel, I'm just going to loop cut it and drag it up all the way to the top here and then I'm just going to scale this bevel out. So now, if I hide my images, you can see it's got that top part. Now, if you zoom in here, you can see that it's kind of got all these itty bitty square pieces or these vertices that you can see and it's a little sharp so I'm going to what you can do is you can select it and then go shade smooth but that doesn't look good it's pretty much shade smoothing it too much almost so what I'm going to do to fix it is just go to the modifier tab add a modifier, a bevel modifier. And what this modifier does is it just bevels it and makes it a little bit easier to do those flat surfaces. So I'm going to change the amount and these segments to three. Now, now if I zoom in here, the edges here are a little bit softer and it looks better than nothing. So, this is great. Join me on my next part when I create the handle to our hammer. So, I will see you in the part two of this beginner blender tutorial where we create Thor's hammer.